In this video, we're going to be discussing a special test used in the assessment of lumbar radiculopathies, and that is assessing for braggart sign. And this is really a continuation of the straight leg raise test because we first have to perform this test, and once we're in the provoking position, then we assess for braggart sign. So again, the patient will be positioned in supine, and we're just going to perform the straight leg raise test as we did in one of the previous videos up until the point where the patient reports radicular symptoms going down into their affected lower extremity. So let's suppose right here, I'm doing the straight leg raise test, and this is the point where she is describing radicular symptoms going down into her right lower extremity. Now remember, the radicular symptoms are caused by compression or ischemia or some kind of irritation up at the level of the lumbar nerve roots. Now remember also that I can change the position of the ankle to either put some slack on those nerve roots or I can tense them. Theoretically, if I put slack on them, that should relieve some of those radicular symptoms. And if I put tension on them, that should increase those radicular symptoms. So once I'm at the point where she's describing the radicular symptoms going down that lower extremity, I'm then going to take her telocurl joint and plantar flex it. So from here, we're going to put her into plantar flexion. Okay? That plantar flexion should relieve some of the tension or put slack on those nerve roots, and that should decrease the radicular symptoms in that lower extremity. Okay? That would be consistent with a positive test. Once I've assessed her response to plantar flexion, I'm then going to allow her ankle to go back to its original position, whatever its resting position is. And then I'm going to allow her leg to drop a little bit, about 5 degrees, 10 at the very most. And what I'm looking for is her radicular symptoms in that lower extremity to decrease or even be eliminated. Okay? So I'm going to allow her leg to drop about 5 degrees and her symptoms should reduce or be eliminated. So then from there, I'm going to passively dorsiflex her ankle. And remember, dorsiflexion puts tension on the nerve roots, so I should expect them to increase. Okay? So dorsiflexion, and I assess her response. And if in this position, she reports an increase in radicular symptoms going down that lower extremity, that would also be consistent with a positive test. And again, the rationale for these maneuvers is that the dorsiflexion and plantar flexion each put stretch or slack on the specific nerve roots involved in the radiculopathy. Now the psychometrics of braggart sign were assessed by this group in 2018 in the context of a lumbar radiculopathy. And they found a sensitivity of 69% and a specificity of 76%. So as a standalone test, braggart sign is not very powerful. But you can see that as a standalone test, if they test positive for braggart sign, there's a 76% chance that they do have a lumbar radiculopathy. However, we know that the more of these tests you do, and the more of them that are positive, the more sure you can be that the patient does have a lumbar radiculopathy. Let's take one more look at this test. So we're going to begin by just performing the straight leg raise test up until the point where lower extremity radicular symptoms are provoked, which happens to be right here. From this position, I'm going to passively plantar flex her ankle, and that should put slack on the nerve roots and relieve the radicular symptoms, either partially or totally. Then I put her ankle back in its resting position, and then lower the leg about five degrees, enough to at least take some of the symptoms off that lower extremity or altogether. And then I'm going to passively dorsiflex her ankle, which puts tension on the nerve roots, and that should theoretically increase radicular symptoms. And if that's true, then she has a positive braggart sign. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.